You completed all the circuits in this room. Welcome to the gallery, such as it is. The door at the end on the left is the master bedroom. It also has an elevator up to the observatory. Arena's parents lived here once. This was their bedroom. to bed. It's like something out of a novel, isn't it? Did you know that if you touch a certain spot inside a TV, it can kill you with an electric shock, even when it's unplugged? It stores a shocking deadly amount of electricity. It's very dangerous to work on an open television. the water. Same idea. He was convinced that there must be a way to view another person's thoughts. He spent absolute years working on a device that could project a person's thoughts onto the wall. He called it his thought camera. It's incredible. It looks like this socket needs a T-shaped connection. Nice work. The circuit isn't complete. Think about this. Television shows were made for exactly this sort of television. The people who made shows in this era knew what it would look like on these screens. They designed for exactly those things. A perfect example of the following function. Well, there's a romance to these screens. They did a low It's soothing. Comforting. there.
Let's see if we can run a bypass using the sockets in the room. fast. I'm sure you remember that you need to complete the circuit first. You found another key. This one has a brain on it. Charming, eh? You know, Rena kept an actual human brain in her office. Got it from medical school. Gross. Very. You remember such random things. Don't we all? 
Hold out your hand, please. There we go. Now it's activated. Shall we begin? And by that I mean, would you please give me a dose? So, we came up with this plan to build a machine that would be a transport device, like a ship or a plane. But instead of taking us around the world, this machine would take us inside, into the human mind. We wanted to test our theory about how the brain is built much like a machine. More, please? We had only the vaguest idea how to proceed. We built dozens of prototypes, and they were disasters. They'd malfunction, blow their fuses, short circuit, but we couldn't give up. What did those machines actually do? I mean, were you drilling a hole into people's skulls or what? No, no. At first we built a sort of headdress. The one you are wearing right now, in fact. It was difficult to wear, as you know, because it completely blinded the test subject while they were using the machine. But it worked. It opened a window, I suppose you could say. We were able to pair electrical impulses, and that created the connection. We were able to look through a portal and actually see into another person's mind. What did you see? Mm. We saw how the mind worked. It was like watching a movie. But the movie was another person's thoughts and memories. I saw some things I wasn't meant to see, I suspect. But we were off to the races. Go, find another key and bring it back so I can activate it. Go on now. <laughs> <laughs> 